Tuba's High School Challenge, uh, Season 5, uh, Round 2, um, Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles on the SNES. Uh, just a quick visit to the options screen here to show the standard settings. Uh, game level difficulty 3 uh, at the top there, normal speed, 60 seconds uh, round time, the usual stuff. And into tournament mode. Uh, made in 1993, uh, this game. Uh, several characters to pick from, um, to be honest, I only tried to practice with a few, but I settled on Asuka reasonably quickly. Um, introduction here by April O'Neill. It's the ultimate tournament in the galaxy. And the winner will receive more money than he can possibly imagine. Although, I'm not sure if Asuka's a he, but um, anyway. Okay, yeah, one on one fighting game. Um, just to sort of dive straight into it, uh, basically, there's four different types of enemy AI. Uh, there's ones who are sort of vulnerable to uppercuts, one who's kind of vulnerable to sort of sweeps and spins, and then there's um, uh, Wingnut here, who's got his um, own particular style, which is just to sort of like carry in the corner once he gets asked in the face and spun to death. Uh, so this round's a bit different from the other ones we'll be seeing. Um, what's happening is um, I'm basically flying in with that spinning special move. That's building up my attack gauge, which is the green bar underneath the, my energy bar. When that gets to full, uh, I can unleash like a super uh, move by pressing hard punch and hard kick. It's that kind of whirlwindy type move, uh, which drains a lot of energy from the opponent. However, um, I don't want to use that um, again because having that bar full at the end of the round uh, gives me a score bonus. So what I've just been trying to do is, after using it once, I've built the bar up again and just using chip damage to uh, take him out. And that gives me a perfect on round one. That's a very, very juicy 28,000 or so points uh, to start me off. So, yeah, very happy with that. And straight away, yeah, just same, same kind of like technique again. If I was a little bit more skillful, I wouldn't need to do the ass attack. Uh, you can just sort of keep on spinning, but uh, you need to time it just right so you don't leave a couple of frames or so for Wingnut to get a hit in. So I've just charged up my bar, done a special attack, like he's down to less than half energy, I just need to like wear him down for the rest whilst I've built my bar up again. So that spinny attack, yeah, that's it, it's just, it's just down to roll back and kick. It's just got like a dragon punch type move, forward down, diagonal down, forward and punch, which we'll sort of see quite a bit later as well. I think this uh, round is Thunderdome as well, I think there's a t Tina Turner type singer in the background there. And oh yeah, just just on that last hit, uh, which I just need for another perfect, and yeah, the git grabs me and um, just slams me into the ground. So that actually sort of knocked about sort of 10,000 points off my score. Um, so you, yeah, you, get, you get an extra 10,000 uh, points like energy bonus if you get a perfect. So, a bit disappointed I didn't get a double perfect, but it, it does happen. Like, uh, yeah, Wingnut wing, wing, wing can get just like a crafty hit in, uh, yeah, just, just when you least expect him, but it's still e easiest character in the game. <clears throat> Okay, uh, round two. Uh, the first sort of turtle, uh, the, 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 all the characters come in different orders, but you sort of do tend to get a turtle every second round or so. Um, Michelangelo's one of the easier ones. I'd say Michelangelo, Raphael, Donatello, and Leonardo in, in, in that order of difficulty. Uh, I've had to adjust my tactics a bit here. Um, I can't just do the spinning and then as attack, although that worked there. Um, I tend to find just need to sort of time it a bit more with sort of like sweeps and things. 
although sort of thinking back and watching this, I've got away with quite a few spin attacks there, which I probably wouldn't be able to do on like later rounds. So I was just able to like, steamroll in there, really. And yeah, nearly sort of 20,000 points on that one. As like a par score, um, I was looking at about sort of like 15,000 points uh, uh, per round. Uh, anything less than that, not so great. Anything more, yeah, very, very, very good. There are some characters who are a bit difficult as well, so um, I wasn't too hard on myself on some rounds, but we'll, we'll come to those in a bit. So, just just sort of spanning the spin move, but as you can see, Michael Angelo is getting a lot more hits in than, um, than, than our wing nut did. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't usually be able to get away that many spins in the later rounds, but so far, so good. So yeah, you, you get your time bonus as well, so it's like a combination of those three, building building up your attack bar, uh, how much energy you've got left and how much how quickly you did it as well. M music might have sounded a little bit stranger because it's like a, like a speed up button which I used. I could have just skipped the whole thing there, but um, this, this, the speed up button does come in handy as well. Okay, Chrome Dome. Um, this is um, uh, one of the different types of AI. Uh, vulnerable to the uppercut. So, sort of doing sweeps as I sort of like try to do with some other characters doesn't work as well. Okay, still get some in, but uppercut is generally what catches them out. The, the general tactic, um, spam tactic, is to sort of uppercut, to sort of knock them down, take a bit of energy off, then do a spin, which does some chip damage at least, and sort of builds up your charge bar sort of pretty well. And it's great for finishing them off as well when they've only got just like, like a little bit of energy left. Right now, although there's a lot of spamming um, in this game, um, I did actually have great fun just trying to like refine it to the point um, to get as high a score as possible. Um, I, I was aiming for over 500k in this run, and um, th there were a, 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 a few failed attempts in getting there, even though it, it looks like I'm dispatching the enemies really easily. So, it, 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 in that sense, um, it, it, it was sort of quite a, quite a frantic sort of challenge and. Couldn't afford any slip-ups, which did happen sort of quite a few times when I was trying to do uppercuts and things, and just, just my wrist failed me, and just did a heavy punch and stuff like a like an uppercut punch instead. Um, so, like, I, I, I did have a, a lot of fun chasing that high score. Just in general, as well, like um, I do really like the graphics of the game. Um, I'd say when I first started playing it, um, I I wasn't keen because it, it just seemed clunky. Um, it just seemed really difficult to land hits on the opponent. Like, yeah, the computer just seemed to like, read what I was doing, and and, and some moves the computer does as well are sort of quite unreasonable, really, p particularly with some of the turtles later on. But yeah, once once you sort of like um, you, 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 you get your spam techniques down, it it, it kind of becomes more enjoyable. And, that, and that's almost like a challenge in itself. Um, I, I did actually have fun sort of learning about the different types of AI um, and sort of how to how to beat them. Okay, Leonardo. Leonardo is an absolute pain, um, and I was glad I had him relatively early on, rather than sort of like the third or fourth turtle, turtle at about sort of like round six or round eight. It, it, it's like sword. Shining cutter thingy that that just comes out really quickly. Um, he does little cross ups as well every now and then. Where he sort of jumps over the side and kicks you in the back of the head with a flying kick. And he, and, he, and he's got a good anti air with his um, it's a heavy kick as well. So and he kind of does a sort of a, a rising crescent blade type thing as well. So it's just like really tough. So I use my uh, sort of super special air. Um, I sold all energy and using that super special drains my bar so I don't get any attack bonus. <clears throat> so 
so I, I really didn't get many points that round but because I've had so many problems uh, with Leonardo um, it really was a case of just wanted to like, take him out <laughs> so uh, tr tr tricky customer yeah he, he's also got um, an ability just to sort of pluck you out of thin air with a throw as well sometimes you can sort of come with the flying kick which you'll block and then just like throw you straight away uh, which is pretty unreasonable to be honest and yeah I just, I, I just got mullered there really um, and to be honest I don't think I did that much wrong Round three. so although I'm getting hit a bit I'm, I'm sticking with my, my tactic I'm, I'm having faith in the tactic and that is to sort of like the, there are times where he's vulnerable to the sweep and if you can just sort of like get that down whilst dodging his projectiles then you can start to get on top of the match and start to control it. Yeah, sometimes in fighting games when things aren't going away it's tempted to like hammer the buttons and get a hit in but with turtles yeah I'd really recommend just blocking until it's safe again and sort of like try, trying to work your way back in. So it's still all very close here thinking like it might, might be game over. Yeah, e e even though the only other smidge of energy left there, I wasn't taking any chances. Um, it's like, he, he, he's, he's that super to finish him off. So, a, a measly 1,000 points there, um, which is like, um, yeah, not great at all. And af after that round, start thinking like, um, this, this might be difficult to, uh, to, to get the high score in this round, but I'll stick with it. So, bonus round, uh, smash the safes up. Um, I don't know if there's a better technique than this, probably, um, but I just settled on sort of like kicking the safes to doom, because um, you get like 100 points for each safe you hit each, each time. So, and with the light kick, it kind of like goes through them all and hits them all at once. And then you get an extra sort of thousand points, I think, when when the safe blows up. I think I managed to get about 18,500 points on one run. Um, which then you get sort of a 10,000 bonus on top of. Uh, so, but yeah, 17,500 pounds seem to be kind of like a, a general maximum. Okay, uh, next round. <clears throat> okay, uh, this guy's uh, more vulnerable to the uppercut. And even if you miss, um, I'd say you've got about a 50-50 chance of doing a grab uh, w w when you land. So the odds are kind of in your favour, although you st still sort of like tend to take like, like a bit of damage. A lot of it's timing really, you sort of just want to be just at the right distance and full on launching the uppercut. And it's almost like if you get it right, the computer tries to sort of like punch into your uppercut, which which they don't have priority for, so you end up getting hit. So not a great amount of energy or time left there, but um I, I did sort of charge my attack bar pretty well, um so uh, a, a, a bit below par uh, uh, that round, and particularly after the Leonardo match, the last last one is kind of like I could have done with a few more points there. takes a turn for the worst really yeah and I didn't, didn't get that last sort of like uppercut and um, throw in and um, yeah, pick, picked off Round three. Fight. so sort of like pressure's on 
the second round. Well, third round as it is now. <clears throat> General bit of trivia, um, must admit that um, I didn't particularly like the Turtles back in the day. Um, they didn't watch that much of the cartoon. Um, I did really like the song Turtle Power though. Um, it's yeah, one of my favourite early songs, T-U-R-T-L-E Power. Um, that, that was great. Um, but I, to be honest, I, I never really sort of cared too much for the, uh, for, for the film or the cartoon. So, uh, apart from some of the obvious characters like April O'Neil, the Turtles themselves, of course, and people like Shredder, um, I'm not really sure who these other characters are and if uh, where, where where they featured um, in, in the Turtles uh, stories. Round one. Okay, so Raphael, um, yeah, probably second easiest Turtle. He's not too bad, really. The um, the, the reason I, I say Raphael's slightly more difficult than Michelangelo is because when Raphael gets to low energy, he's got this kind of like um, sort of spinning pile driver type move, uh, kind of corkscrew thingy, which I just start to do there and. Um, that, that can be a really pain to, to hit him out or something. He's got a tendency to sort of plow into you and then sort of throw you. Um, and, and, and as you see, then I, I, I didn't have a great round anyway and I lost. But but sometimes um, Raphael just seems like pretty easy to, uh, to demolish, to be honest. So, doing do, do my tactic of like sweep, spin, I jump back to get the distance. Yeah, with, with a bit of luck he follows you and is like vulnerable to the sweep again to sort of so you can sort of set it off again. And yeah, get that last bit of chip damage in. And I think, is that perfect? It was indeed. So yeah, ju just just what I needed after sort of like a pretty difficult match last match and, and, and that low scoring Leonardo match. Sweep, spin, jump, sweep, spin, jump. Yeah, I dizzied him then, but I didn't realise he was going to be dizzy to be honest. Um, uh, Asuka does have a quite powerful, like um, jumping with heavy punch, uh, then it's crouching light punch, then straight into an uppercut, sort of like a three hit combo, which does a lot of damage. And. Um, but 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 to 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 be honest, the last thing I want to do is like mess something up and um, sort of lose my rhythm. So the the spinny thing is pretty safe because it yes, yeah, so you, you guaranteed your hits and uh, yeah, a bit bit builds up the uh, uh, attack meter pretty well as well. Okay, Shredder, um, who's actually a piece of piss. Um, yeah, although. That's, Although I say that, I think, I think I have a bit of trouble. <laughs> but the thing is with Shredder, he's very vulnerable to the um, uppercuts. So once you kind of like get the timing down for, for, for doing the uppercuts, which is what I'm sort of failing to do there, um, you, you can sort of really punish him. Um, but, but also as well, if, if, if you miss him, then he's a character who you can... 90% of the time sort of throw when you land. Uh, so, yeah, I'll go. I, I suppose he is heavy hitter and um, just things didn't quite go my way and I just sort of got, uh, I, I got derailed pretty quickly there. Round two. But, but these, these next two, two rounds should show how it is done. So that, that's the thing with the different characters and the different AI. Um, there's, there's characters like the Turtles who, if you try uh, if you try uppercutting like this, you'll, you'll get punished every single time, and they're almost impossible to throw for some reason. 
and they'll, they'll just pluck you out of thin air and, and throw you back. With, with characters like Shredder here, like you, you can uppercut them all day long. The only difference being is, and this goes with other characters as well, when you get them in a corner they, they tend to block it. But, but if you catch them in the middle of the screen then you're pretty pretty much like guaranteed to hit. And then you've got that thing as well I was talking about where even if you do miss and you land then uh, you, 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 you can do a throw straight away. Yeah, so yeah, lovely perfect there. Thirty thousand juicy points, uh, which is just what I needed to sort of like get get me back on track. Although in all, I'd say I was probably still a little bit behind par um, at, at this point. So back back into the routine. Yeah, didn't connect there, but landed in the throat. Gas there. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't manage to sort of build up my, my attack bar that much in mean, that round, but um, nonetheless, I was, I was chuffed with the perfect there, so that's double perfect on all shredder. Okay, and Donatello now. Um, I'd say Donatello is not as difficult as Leonardo, um, but uh, he's still a pain. Um, and yeah, I, I got caught out a few times when I got to this stage, like um, sort of late on in Donatello. Um, that happened to be the third I was fighting against, and he, he, he did punish me and ruin a couple of my runs. The difficulty with Donatello is. Um, well, he's, he's got his projectiles like Leonardo, which come out pretty quickly. Um, but also, if you're trying to jump in over them uh, at him, then he's got a very quick sort of anti-air move, uh, which he pulls out straight away. So it makes it sort of difficult to sort of counter that. And yeah, he's sort of got you're trying to trying to get your sort of sweeps in, and knock, knocking him down without getting projectiled or or, or, or him just like whipping his um, whipping his stick out. Ooh, uh, <laughs> As you can see, yeah, took a lot, took a lot of damage here, but yeah, got him. <clears throat> so not happy with the energy and time left there, um, but I got me attack meter up, and because it was Donatello and at this stage in the game, I'm just 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 just, just happy he's gone. Doing little backflips there as well to dodge my sweeps, which is uh, a bit annoying. But to be honest, yeah, as long as I'm not taking too many heavy hits, then it's, it's good to be patient and just, just try and sort of get get into that pattern again. We can, we can start controlling the match. I think it's with the special as well, um, if you're going to use it, it's best to use it straight away. Um, what happens is if you, if you get hit you lose a little bit of energy and that can, that can really throw you off in terms of when you're planning to use it. So I, I found it's just better to use it, if you're going to use it, use it, get that out of the way and just sort of start, start building up your attack bar again. Yeah, took a few hits off Donatello the there, but it just dispatched uh, not not too bad. Didn't lose any rounds. Okay, this character War. Um, war takes a lot of wearing down. He's not too difficult, but um, I find you've got to take your time and don't be afraid of getting a timeout uh, victory either. It, it, it does tend to block a lot, um, but. There's, there's, there's still various opportunities throughout the round to get your sweeps and attacks in. I, I couldn't uh, find a, a different way of going about it. Um, 
anything he's sort of particularly vulnerable to. Um, from memory, I don't think he's vulnerable to the uppercuts either. Uh, I, I, I settled on this tactic for him. I didn't use my um, super though because uh, maybe I could have charged it up a bit and sort of got a, a bit more time bonus, but it's kind of like um, yeah, that, that's like a f nearly ten thousand points there if if you've got your uh, attack power charged up by in, in full by the end, and you still get a perfect um, as well even even if you get a time over. So yes, I missed out on the time bonus, but the others were as good as could be. That's it. That's, that's pretty juicy. Yeah, nearly eighteen thousand points. Round two. In this stage, uh, you know, there's uh, Rocksteady and Bebop um, in, in the background. Uh, yeah, Bebop's just on the left hand side, which we might not get to see now. But um, I did kind of wonder why those two weren't featured as characters, you know, considering there's a lot of main characters um, in, in the cartoon. Same with Splinter as well, really. He's like a. Um, um, uh, not unfamiliar with the old martial arts as well. I suppose thinking about it, I don't think I, when I did see Turtles, did see Splinter fight that often anyway. He's, he's quite, quite old and he's put his feet up. Okay, Asuka against Asuka. Um, Asuka is more vulnerable to the uppercut type move. I'd say you've got about a 60-40 chance of um, doing the throw when, when, when you land as well if, if you happen to miss with the uppercut. So not, not quite perfect there but um, uh, very good nonetheless. Yeah, I, I, I'm happy with that one. That's good. Normally, sort of take a, take a bit of damage off me. Round two. Fortunately, sort of took a hit there. It's, 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 it was a very, very good round. It still is, but um, yeah, so it's always nice to get that perfect. But yeah, that, that, that's good. Good, good time. Good energy. Um, d decent enough on the attack gauge as well. So and and yeah, uh, above my power, fifteen thousand. We have a surprise. The champion Rat King has returned to Vendor's Crown. Well, I'll give you a clue, he shouldn't have bothered because he's a piece of piss. Okay, and Rat King is very vulnerable um, to the uh, uppercut. It's like you can start it from a fair distance away and he, he, he almost like jumps into it. That, that was like a, the flying punch uppercut thing. I could have linked in as another light punch into that, but that's the kind of attack where 
if, if I knew how to exploit it a bit more um, on the enemies, um, it'd be a great one to use in terms of just taking them out as quickly as possible. Slightly more detailed tip, yeah, doing that spin, um, if, if you're going for the chip damage or just to get the hits in, like if you start it close then y you get three hits in, if you're a little bit of a distance away then um, you may only get sort of two hits in. So that, that, that can make all the difference between sort of finishing them off and not, not giving them another chance to sort of uh, get cheeky hits in. Yeah, quite often with them with that uppercut as well, and um, also like the spinny attack. Um, it is usually best to sort of start it just sort of slightly early. Um, you don't want to wait until the enemy gets up. You want to sort of like have it in motion as they're getting up, really. Um, uh, uh, otherwise, it gives them a chance to sort of yeah, get get hitting on you, really. And yeah, that's another perfect, so uh, that was absolutely ideal. And that took me over the 500k uh, score, which was like, a, that, that was my target really. Uh, uh, that's what I wanted to get. So on the scoreboard, I, the, the, my run previous to this one, I, I got 488,000. Um, or sort of 498,000 either, so it's you know, so close to the 500k score. Um, but I actually got hammered on the last boss here, <clears throat> so I was absolutely gutted. You know, I'd spent like um, half hour or whatever, like uh, sort of get, getting to that point, and it was like, like like a decent run, and then I just got like demolished on this end boss. And um, so I, I, I know it looks easy, but I was coming into this one with like a, like a, a a real sense of pressure. Um, I, I didn't want to throw it all away again. <laughs> but by this stage, as well, like um, <coughs> hands and wrists, like caning a bit, and really need to do the uh, the, uh, the uppercut on, on this level. And what failed me on my last run is that combination of nerves and like wrist fatigue. I was just like, I just, I just fucked up the mechanics of it too much. <coughs> So yeah, in, in, in the, the Karai, a different different type of character altogether. Really, um, you, you, you kind of like you got to be a bit lucky with sort of connecting that first uppercut. Um, and if you miss, the key is don't lash out. Just block till you're a safe distance away. Then sort of like start building again. I mean, generally speaking, um, when Karai's sort of sort of spinning. Um, their arms around um, or, or, or in the air just, just do the uppercut and you, you may get hit in um, and if you miss just block get, get back to safe distance don't try to sort of heavy punch your way out of the situation which is like a dumb thing to do which is what, what I've done plenty of times before and um, you, you can get a few uppercuts in um, You've really got to start the the uppercut earlier than you would with the other characters, though. Um, it's kind of like um, like like a good half second almost before they get up. You just got to sort of like just start that uppercut and, and get get get, and you should get a hit into sort of like a knock her back across the screen. Yeah, if you um, if you miss the uppercut and, um, and you sort of try punching or something straight away, so you get sort of counter hit, then you, you get punished by sort of like a couple of heavy punches and heavy kick, and then sort of thrown across the screen. And it's um, quite damaging, really. So not took a throw there, but kept my composure, um, waited for the opportunity to come in for that, that uppercut to finish it off. Ah. Okay, 
tournament win. Win the match in the tournament. What my thoughts? Phew. I'm happy that I could show you all of my power. I'll win the next battle with the same power. That's true. Right. She spams a lot with the same power. Although the next battle won't be until the next tournament. Whatever that may be. And I am the King of Kings. Now, as it's asked, should it be the Queen of Kings? The Queen of Queens? Or the Queen of Kings and Queens? Yeah, lots of gold there. Uh, money f falling down from the sky. What a wonderful ending. And a nice little ending as well here. You know. uh, now I can realise my lifelong dream of training young people in the ways of spam attacks. Ninjutsu. <laughs> Yay! That's the best dojo in the entire world. Alright, game over. Uh, we get some quite lengthy credits here. Uh, so this is where the speed up button comes in handy. I, I, I guess the speed up button was was on the original game as well. Um, it's activated with what I think is the, the R button. So I'm letting it roll a little bit here, but when the music goes garbled, yeah, here we go. I'm, I'm speeding it up. Yeah, um, all in all, um, enjoyable game really. Yeah, uh, 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 as I said, um, at um, uh, oh sorry, it's a final score: um, five hundred and fifty-eight thousand and fifty. Um, oh sorry, the, the the screen bar was just in the way there. I'll I'll check again. Uh, the road to become best fighter is long and treacherous one. Train your body and mind and fight again. Very true. Very true. Uh, yeah, 558,050 uh, is my score. Uh, but yeah, as I say, um, uh, yeah, f found it a bit clunky, a bit unforgiving at first, but um, uh, very enjoyed uh, it once I learned the spam attacks and uh, sort of trying to work the, out the AI and trying to perfect my run as well as, as much as possible with those attacks. And the score, uh, yeah, there's me 498,000. I nearly did on the previous run, that bastard. Um, but yeah, uh, 558,000, very happy with that. Okay.